See you in 130 years. Look at that bad boy. We have a time breach in progress. What the hell is a time cup? Well, we um, we basically are the preservers of time. We keep history, in effect, you know, as is, and we keep rogue time travelers, as a wise man once told me, from going back and altering history at all. The time cop does his job right. No one knows if he got it right except him. I, th I think the qualities that make Ryan the time cop a hero is that there's a lot of human emotion involved. I think there's, I think it always comes down to that. Ryan, yes, I think Ryan is a classic hero. I think he's, he embodies sort of the strength and the power and um, he makes you want to be on his side because he's still got this really sort of sympathetic quality that, that makes you want to be a part of whatever team he's on. Not bad. We might actually pull this thing off. Jason is a lot like Ryan, I think, because uh, he brings another element. It's not the one-dimensional action hero. He's bringing humanity to his character, and he's questioning his what he's doing. Is it right? Has he bettered anything in, in the world? Jason is fantastic. He's really, he's just, he's a stellar human being, really, and he's so good at his stunts, and he's so good at, he's so good at making it real and kind of doing the faces, but keeping them very real, and he's so fast. <laughs> My character admires Ryan. He, he, he wants desperately to Ryan, for Ryan to see the world as he does. Brandon Miller, who's played by Thomas Ian Griffith, takes the other side of that um, you know, equation and, and takes it to the extreme, starting out as being a true altruist that he would go back and right the wrongs of the past. What do you say we jump back in time to when man first decided to lock up all those deemed insane? Don't you want to know who made that decision? Miller, Miller's not a bad guy, I don't think, because he has a great cause. What he believes is if we have the technology to jump back in time, we have a responsibility to right all the wrongs of the past, which I think a lot of people can relate to, which gives the movie a lot of gray area. So it's not your typical black and white, oh, he's the bad guy, and he's on, you know, it's all about revenge. So there's something else, there's a, there's a bigger picture here. Thought you guys might need a little help on this one. There's, there's an actress named Tava Smiley that is playing uh, Jeffer is my partner. She's really cool. I mean, she, she, she's a very hard worker. She's worked so hard. She's never done action before. I'm an action babe. I think Tyler Jeffers is a little more than just an action babe. But yeah, I feel like an action babe. You are such a wuss, Edwards. Tava came in and auditioned for the role and just jumped out at, you know, I, when, when she walked into the, the first audition that we had, it, 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 you know, she just jumped off the page with the words. Cut it, print it. Steve Rocks. Our director is really great. I found out that he used to be a stuntman way back, and um, I think that makes him ideal for an action film director. Oh, we can do that better. Let's go again. But they asked me to do the movie, and I've always been fascinated by time travel and, you know, the, the potential of going back and witnessing or, you know, affecting past. And, and uh, so when they asked me, I said, Sign me up. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Action. I enjoy the physicality. I enjoy the martial arts. A lot of it is hand-to-hand -hand combat, and we try to make it really exciting and, and theatrical, but uh, still have a sense of finesse. I've worked a lot in the action uh, genre. And uh, I'm real comfortable with it. You know, I, I studied Taekwondo since I was a kid. And, you know, you use all the skills you, uh, you, you pick up in your career and you can bring them to the next project. So I think uh, on this, we can, uh, we can pull, them, pull them out of a bag and have fun with it. You always have a facet of danger involved in whether you conk your head on the, you know, marble tile or you hit an elbow and you chip a bone or I don't know where you catch you know you catch a left cross or something because the timing is off <laughs> what's been great is the people that we worked on here have been real real good with their timing and their distance and you know they're real pros oh. Oh, no wonder no you changed it we to the right one <laughs> uh, shooting um 
the scene on how to get pull your muscles in the cold, cold, damp alleyways of Universal Studio Lab. <laughs> The martial arts in this picture are choreographed by Fran and Jerry Poti, who are some of the most famous martial arts choreographers in the world. In fact, they were the martial arts choreographers for Bruce Lee in the Bruce Lee movies. What if, what if it just went where he didn't have to take the joint and do a jump kick to the yeah. head? I got together with them about a week before we started doing any action. And they basically did like a martial arts class with me. We did kicks and punches and they showed me kind of your basics. And luckily for me, I had done a lot of Thai boxing classes and I've never done a martial art where I was just trained in it. But I'm kind of comfortable with the idea of the kicking and the punching. And um, so, so Fran told me I was a natural. I think somebody paid her off. Um, this is Fran, this is Jerry's wife. These two are the masters of the martial arts. That's so you know what, why don't you show us some stuff? Why don't you show us uh, a couple of your moves? It's a very reflexive kind of response. And I think it makes for very dynamic choreography and various things that you, you, don't, you haven't seen since maybe Bruce Lee. You just, just try to hit me, because I'm fast. Not bad, Jeffers. Thanks. But he's still standing. There are definitely times that we'd all like to go back to and change, I think. You know, m major times in the world where there was trauma or strife. And, and the idea is the world wouldn't be what it is today. Not that we have a perfect world, but, but it could be so much worse. What I would give to be able to sit and talk with you, knowing what I know now. I mean, time travel wouldn't be so amazing if we could really do it. Uh, and I think that this movie, it's, it's, there's a lot of fun stuff. There's you know, great sequences and great periods we go back to. But to be able to address a poignant question that is, you know what, what if we could do it? Would we go back and do, you know, change the world? And what would the result of that be? If you could travel back in time, would you change things to try to make them better? Or would you leave things alone with the understanding that if change could become you know a horrible snowballing effect that you know even by trying to do the best thing for the world you might affect things in a very negative way and that's become really the central theme of the story forget all the nonsense you've been told and look at where you are do you realize what we could accomplish here together this character has a lot of gray. You know, it's, you know, he has a good cause in this movie. His, his idea is if we can go back, if we have the technology to go back in time, we should go back and right all the wrongs of history. So it's a great argument. You know, it's something you can really play and commit to. You don't want to stop a madman from killing 11 million people. I'd love to go back to the 50s. I'm such a geek. I think it'd be so fun. And then we'd like, because I'd feel like I'd be just in a musical all the time, you know, dancing around cars. And I just think it would be great. Well, we get to, gosh. We get to go to like 1800s Atlantic City, we get to go to the Old West, we get to go to 1988, then you get to 2001, which is, and our story actually takes place in 2025. So there's a lot of like interesting uh, time jumps. And the whole sci-fi thing made this project so appealing because there, there are no limits, there are no rules. We can come up with anything and say, hey, if that works for our story, we can implement it, you know. This is, I think, the most challenging film I'm, I've done on a storytelling level. First of all, if you try to analyze for a moment what would happen if you actually went back in time and how you could affect things and, you know, just all of the nuances of time travel, which sci-fi nuts, I think, will really dig about this film. But, in fact, when we finish here, uh, after wrap, some of us are gonna travel through time to some of our favorite time periods um, and just check them out. Maybe I'll take a video camera and show you what it looks like. Where the hell have you been? Saving the world. We have a time breach in purpose.